Good day, yogis, and welcome back to class with me today for a yin yoga session. So this session is all about self-care and love for the lower back. So I know a lot of you have been sitting at desks um, or behind computers for long periods during the day, and there's nothing better than stretching out the lower back when you're feeling a bit of unease and pressure in this region. So this is all about lower back tension relief, and it's gonna get nice and juicy, it's gonna be slow. Grab hold of your mat. For this practice, you're only gonna need two yoga blocks or bricks, or a couple of um, thick books, which you can use as an alternative. So let's begin by bringing the hands into prayer position, allowing the palms to touch. Gently rubbing the palms together, generating some warmth between the hands. Resting the hands into heart center, taking a deep inhale through the nose. Allow yourself to connect now to your breath. Lengthen up from the base of your spine all the way to the back of the neck. Gently tuck the chin in towards the chest. Allow yourself some deep breaths here. Exhale, lower the hands down to the knees, palms facing upward. Allow yourself a few beautiful, deep cleansing breaths here. And as you begin to settle down and settle in to the practice today, allow yourself these few moments in meditation. Allowing the breath to draw you back inward to a space of calm and quiet. Begin to notice the sounds outside the room you're in. Not attaching to any of them, just noticing. And allowing yourself a moment to move the hearing from one sound to the next. And once you've Connected to the sounds, allow your hearing to be drawn back into the room you're in. Noticing sounds within the room. Noticing any sensations in the body or emotions that you may be feeling as you've arrived on your mat today. Maybe some thoughts drifting through the mind. Allow those to drift on by not attaching to a single thought. Noticing, not attaching. Allow yourself a few more deep breaths here. In this moment of stillness. to the eyes open, coming back into your space and ready for the first of our yin yoga postures, which is uh, knee to chest, so just coming down on your mat, having a nice deep stretch, send the fingers and toes away from one another, deep, deep stretch, maybe even take a yawn. <sighs> And then gently, we're having the right knee into the chest for the first of our yin poses. Allow the head to fall back onto your mat. Tuck the chin gently into the chest. And once you're here, just find a beautiful um, edge here of five. So drawing the knee down into the chest, feeling the length through the lower back. Interlace the fingers over the knee and just let the elbows drift down, shoulders relaxed. You can close the eyes now and just breathe here. Deep breaths. For the entire practice today, we're really going to work on some self-care. Never pushing any posture too far. Realizing that in yin yoga, Less is oftentimes more. So really allow yourself to surrender into the postures rather than pushing or pulling yourself to get further. Allow the body 
to naturally release and relax. We'll be working to the three principles of yin yoga, one of which is to find your edge, which is usually at, the, at a five out of 10. The next is to resolve to hold the posture in stillness. So stillness meaning no fidgeting, no moving around, just holding. And the strange part about that concept of holding is I actually see it more of a surrender. So really surrendering down into the shape. So in that state of surrender, allow the elbows and the arms and the shoulders and the chest to all be heavy, thus drawing the knee down into the chest naturally, allowing the target area here in the hip joint and through the lower back to release. Yin yoga is working on lengthening or stretching the connective tissues, the ligaments and the fascial layer of the body to really allow yourself this time to tap into the deep healing of this lunar practice. So yin energy is moon energy. And I find that yin yoga is particularly a beautiful practice over the winter months, over the time of renewal, when we're moving from a stagnant into an active period. Keeping the eyes closed and keeping yourself connected to the breath. Deeply inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Moving into the last seconds of the stretch. Just see how you can surrender down into the stretch just a little more. Are you able to soften a bit more through the hands? <laughs> Gently drop the foot. Send the leg back down to the bottom of the mat. Draw the arms up overhead for a deep stretch. And as you exhale, let's have the left knee into the chest. So keeping this right leg pinned down. Begin now. The same on the left side. So tucking the chin gently into the chest, drawing the knee down and into the chest. But again, looking for that edge of a five. Your right toes are relaxed. Your left toes are relaxed. The entire body melting down into the ground. And then once more, just notice what this stretch presents for you. Where are you feeling it within the body? Noticing if both of the hip, um, hips are pressed down into the mat. Breathing deeply. Continuously connecting to the breath. Allowing the breath to turn you inward. Allowing the breath to distract you from the myriad of thoughts that are often drifting through what, what I call the monkey mind. So quieten that monkey mind now. Allow the breath to anchor you into a state of stillness. So we 
lingering down into the ground. Softening the shoulders, softening the chest, the back. Keeping that chin slightly tucked in to lengthen through the back of the neck. this time of self-care in yoga is a beautiful practice of honoring the body for where it is in in the moment so not pressing further not pushing just asking of the body to reset as it folds into each of these different shapes moving into the last 30 seconds just to just one last time, seeing where you can soften just that little bit more. Drop the foot down onto the mat. Send the legs to the bottom of your mat. Arms up overhead for a deep stretch once more. And then as you exhale, hug both knees into the chest. Take a moment here to gently rock from side to side, massaging out the lower spine, and the lower back, giving yourself a bit of self-love here, rocking from one side to the other, using the elbows here to stop you from rolling right over. Hands are tucked now onto the back of the thighs, gently rock and roll. So giving yourself a little bit of um, self-care, taking it slow. If, the, if you have any problems through the spine, just maybe avoid this or just take it very gently, coming up and over into tabletop. We're going to, on the theme of um, lower back tension relief, we're going to work into a few cat-cow postures. So these are really excellent for releasing tension through the lower back. So drop the belly, inhale to gaze forward. Exhale, draw up the spine, gaze to me. Press into the two palms, front palms, inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, roll back up, gaze to me. Inhale, drop belly, gaze forward. Exhale, roll up, gaze to navel. Last one, inhale, belly drop and gaze forward. Exhale, roll up spine, gaze to navel. Let's take a, a, one more. Inhale, drop the belly, gaze forward. Exhale, roll up the spine, gaze to navel. Coming back to neutral, let's get ready to go into the next of our postures, which is baby dragon. We're going to start on the right side, so stepping the right foot forward. So it's essentially coming into a lunge. So what you're going to need to check in on here is if you're feeling any tenderness through this back knee, you can either fold your mat in half or you can grab hold of a blanket or a towel and place that under the knee. So we're looking for an alignment here of knee stacked above ankle with a nice deep stretch into the hip flexor and along the front right thigh. Hands on either side of the foot, gazing forward. Now, if this is too deep and not accessible to you, grab hold of your blocks and place one on either side of the foot. Hands are now stacked, wrists under shoulders, gazing forward and breathe. Just allow yourself to settle here. So this is baby dragon. You can gaze down towards the toes and just allow yourself to properly soften into the hips here. Feel the pull of gravity a little more with each exhale. Four. 
finding your edge of a five. So if you're more than a five here, back out and reverse. And then be still. And then we hold the pose. So in this space of stillness, we allow the body to do its deep stretching, to do its deep work, to do its healing. We move the flow of chi through the body, through the meridian lines. We restore balance once more. noticing sensations within the body as you find yourself going deeper into the pose maybe feeling an ease maybe feeling as though the hips are able to draw down just a little bit further maybe you even want to attempt to move the blocks aside and see if you're able to place the hands down seconds of baby dragon just see where you can adjust just that little bit more allowing yourself maybe to sink down a bit further or maybe content just where you are using the breath to soften Gently press the palms into the mat, roll back and draw the knee back, press into child's pose here, drop the forehead down, extend the arms forward, let's take a couple of breaths. the left leg forward now so coming into baby dragon on the other side so once again looking for that beautiful alignment of ankle um, stacked above the knee and then you can begin off by bringing your blocks so back knee if you need to prop any blankets or um, anything to support if you're feeling a bit tender the back foot is flat hands are on either side Gaze forward to create a bit of length through the lower back. And then you can gaze down towards the toes or wherever works for you here. Just listen to the body. Allowing the body to sink forward into the posture. you allow yourself to sink a bit further maybe you can remove the blocks and bring the hands right down onto the mat adjusting feeling the pull of gravity a little more with every exhale allowing the body maybe to sink a bit deeper
continuously connect to the breath, deep inhalation and exhalation. Moving into the last 30 seconds. Drawing the knees back together, pressing into child's pose. So drop the forehead down, extend the arms forward, take a couple of breaths here, just feeling into the body. Gaze between towards the hands, press the palms into the mat, tuck the toes and roll yourself up into your downward facing dog. So stretching the heels all the way down to the ground, beginning to paddle one foot at a time, taking that beautiful stretch through the calf. Very nice. Taking your time here, pressing the four corners of the hands into the ground, allowing yourself the last breath as you begin to walk the toes towards the fingers, Slowly and gently coming toes to fingers, allowing yourself now to stay in dangling. So in dangling pose, we're just going to hang over the thighs, so torso is touching the thighs, bring the hands down onto the ground. You can have a bend through the knees, allow the forehead just to hang, nod yes and no. Bring the hands onto the elbows. You can gently take a little rock here from side to side. Just gently easing out the hamstrings. And then exhale and allow the hands to drift down. Sigh out the breath. Beautiful dangling pose. Just allows this beautiful elongation through the whole of the spine. So basically doing the complete opposite as when we are in uh, standing, where we're basically stacking the vertebra one on top of each other as we stack the torso over the hips. But in this posture, we are allowing for this beautiful release right from the base of the spine, running all the way to the back of the neck. We're allowing some space to be created, some weight to be taken off. <sighs> Imagine with every exhale, Stress pouring right out from the, out of the spine, all running all the way along the spine and then draining out of the top of your head. All the while making sure that the neck is completely released. Taking some big, beautiful breaths here, breathing fully into the breathing cavity. So expanding through the rib cage. And as you exhale, Sigh out the breath and allow yourself to hang loose a little bit more. Belly is melted over the thighs. Shoulders are soft. Whole body is relaxed. Just letting go. Anytime you need a little break, you can straighten the knees, bring the hands onto the shins, and just gaze down to the floor. And then once more, we'll go back into the position of dangling, allowing the head to hang down. We've got about another 30 seconds here, so just allowing yourself a few more moments here.
Last few breaths. We gently transition into the next of our postures, which is yoga squat. So walk the feet, toes to touch the edge of the mat, heels slightly turned inwards, and gently drop down into yoga squat. So ideally here, you want to have the heels of the ground touching, or the heels of the feet touching. So you have a couple of options. I want to take it really easy in this posture today. So I'm going to grab hold of one of my blocks and just prop it right underneath the buttocks. Bring the hands into prayer and just stay here. I'm not really feeling as though I want to go in too deep today, but maybe you are able to just prop one block and then the other underneath the heels and maintain your posture pressing down into the ground. So just breathe deeply here. Elbows are pressing knees apart. There's a lengthening through the back. We're not arching. We're lengthening up, gazing forward, close the eyes. And allow yourself to just tap into this grounding nature of this posture. By feeling your energy take root through your feet. So really breathing into the shape. Allow the shoulders to be soft here. Close the eyes and follow the breath once more. Tap into the power of your breath. Deeply inhaling and exhaling. Moving into the last 30 seconds, really allow yourself to sink into the shape. breath, sending beautiful oxygenated blood right to every cell in your body to regenerate, to heal. You can gently begin to come out of the posture, dropping the hands down in front of the body and beginning to raise up into a standing forward fold once more. Gently heel toe the feet back towards one another so they're about hip width distance apart. Just nod the head a couple of times, allow the whole body to fold over the thigh. Couple of big sighs here. And then gently draw the hands up into the waist and begin to roll the vertebra out one at a time, coming into standing into full standing posture, beautiful. Let's come down onto the mat for the next of our postures, which is reclined to child's pose. So dropping onto the mat, take a deep stretch, draw the arms up overhead, toes and fingers being drawn away from one another. Ah, beautiful stretch through the body. And then as you exhale, gently bring the knees into the chest, taking reclined child's pose. So both of the knees are now in, feeling a lovely ease through the lower back. You can cross one foot over the other here, whatever works for you. 
Grab hold of the arms, tuck the chin into the chest, and just release here. This is such a beautiful way to release any tension or compression into the lower back. Eases the, mus the muscles, and just allow yourself to soften. Breathing deeply into the chest cavity as you expand, as you inhale and contract, as you exhale. Being very mindful of allowing the body's time in this restorative and restful posture. Deep breaths in and out. Take yourself over a walk through the shape. Have you managed to soften through the hands and the arms? Are you softening into the shoulders? Are you able to allow the whole spine to drift back and settle down into the mat? Deep breath. Inhaling and exhaling into the belly, through the body. With every exhale, allowing yourself to sink down a little deeper. Surrendering your body into the shape. Opportunity to surrender down to the ground. Nowhere to be, or nowhere to do, nothing. Nowhere to be, nothing to do, but here and now. Acknowledge your body. Notice where you're feeling this stretch. Soften into that space and all spaces around that. Moving into the last 30 seconds of our stretch. Allow yourself to open, open and surrender just that bit more. Maybe take a big yawn if you feel the need. sunlight beaming through these blinds behind me. Just feeling so relaxed from this beautiful yin session. <coughs> Gently drop the feet down onto the mat. You're going to grab hold of a block here. We're coming into supported bridge pose. So pressing both soles of the feet down into the mat. Raise the hips up and then slide your block underneath. So the block has a few different heights and you can work with whatever works or feels good to you at an edge of a five. So this is one height, that's another, and that's another. I would suggest that you're gonna work either between this range and this range and you slide the block to find a beautiful sweet spot just at the base of the spine where it's nice and flat and comfy and you don't feel any discomfort here and then send the legs out and draw the arms up overhead. So supported bridge pose, feeling a beautiful release through the lower back, beautiful stretch through the front of the body. Whole body is soft and relaxed. The legs are soft, they're heavy. Toes are relaxed. Breathe into the belly here. So a beautiful way of practicing your diaphragmatic breathing. So breathe into belly, then chest, then 
then uh, belly rib cage and then chest and then as you exhale reverse going the opposite way really expanding and surrendering so each time just surrendering a little more into the shape really allowing the body this beautiful moment of relaxation So this is a gentle stretch, a supported bridge stretch. Allow your arms to just sink behind the head, soften. By raising up the arms, we're working into the kidney, uh, sorry, the lung and the heart meridian. So unblocking any blockages of the flow through this meridian line. Just deep breaths here all the while noticing and knowing the amount of good you're doing for the body right now. Just tapping into this beautiful space of stillness and quiet. Supported bridge pose, working very beautifully on the fascial layer in the body. So you may even feel this lovely stretch across the body. The fascial layer that's running right across the torso, and just allowing yourself to relax here. Moving into the last 30 seconds here, how can you adjust that a little bit more and slightly allowing yourself to sink down into the ground a little bit deeper. Gently draw the soles of the feet back up onto the mat. Gently press the hips up. Slide the block out from underneath. Just hold the hips up for a moment. Tap into that space of the lower back where we've just been working. Press the soles of the feet down into the ground. Engage a little bit through the belly and a little bit through the glutes. And then bring the hands down. Press the palms into the mat and begin to roll out one vertebra at a time. Being very mindful of the spine. You tuck the pelvis up here and then roll out. So taking a last or a lovely deep stretch overhead, fingers and toes being pulled away from one another. And as you exhale, hug the knees into the chest again. So coming into a bit of a counter pose, once more releasing through the lower back by drawing the knees a little bit into the chest, bringing the arms into cactus. We're moving into the last of our stretches. So for the sake of staying really um, mellow in our practice today, draw the knees over to the side and you can rest them on a block keeping both of the shoulders pinned gaze up towards the ceiling and consciously relax the body deep breaths here once more close the eyes and allow yourself to sink down into the ground to keep both of the shoulder blades or shoulders pinned into the mat as you gaze up towards the ceiling. Are you able to expand deeply into the breathing cavity as you inhale, 
breath moving in all directions of, of the lung, filling up the lung to full capacity. Allowing yourself to sink a little deeper down into the ground, surrendering, letting go. Moving into the last 30 seconds here. pin down into the ground, engage the core as you begin to raise the knees back up, coming back up to center and then we're gently going to allow the knees to drift over to the other side. So keeping the arms in cactus, allow the knees now to drift over to the right side or the other side, opposite side and then allow the knees to rest onto your block and soften right into the shape once more working to keep both shoulders pinned into the ground gazing up towards the ceiling deep breaths to sink into the ground with this beautiful gentle twist, letting go of all tension. Easing through the lower back. To the last 30 seconds here. Planting the arms down into the ground, raising the knees up once more. Hugging them into the chest. Wrap the hands right around the arms here, draw the forehead in to touch the knees. And then gently coming into Shavasana, allow yourself this moment in corpse pose. Bringing the soles of the feet down, hands out beside you yourself to just let go for a moment. Beginning with the toes, the soles of the feet and the ankles. Allow the body to soften and let go. Moving up through the shins and calves into the knees, up through the thighs, into the hips, Soften the body down into the mat. 
Bring awareness to the tips of your fingers, the palms, your wrists. Moving up through the forearms into the elbows and then into the upper arms. Allowing yourself to surrender down into the ground. Take a couple of deep breaths into the belly. Expanding and then allowing belly to fall. Soften the shoulders, soften through the neck, and clench the jaw. Muscles around the mouth and the eyes are soft. Back of the head is melting down into the ground. Last scan through the body, whole body is relaxed and letting go. When you are ready, bring your awareness back to the breath. Taking a few deep inhalations and exhalations. Last deep inhale. Begin to wriggle the fingers and toes, taking the tip of the thumb across the tips of the fingers. Allow the head to roll over from one side to the other. Draw the arms up overhead for a last deep stretch. Before rolling onto either your right or your left side for a last moment here. So a very gentle practice today, working in to that space of the lower back. So for today's reading, let's just open up and see where we land and go with that. Only when you act without judgment can we truly flourish in our lives. Yoga means becoming one. As long as we stand apart in judgment, we sabotage the opportunity for connection and integration, that is yoga. So I encourage you, get into the canoe and ride the waves of the river. So just go with the flow, move with the tides, honor your body, practice self-care, and compassion to others. Bring the palms together to touch. Begin to rub the palms, generating some warmth between the hands, and then resting the hands into heart center. Take a deep inhale through the nose. And as you exhale, bow the nose down to touch the tips of the fingers. Acknowledging yourself for turning up to this very gentle practice of self-compassion. Namaste. Namaste.